Valerie June is here in our studios. The new album is called The Order of Time. And time is really, I think, at the heart of the album. And in some way, every song that's out there, you know, and as you get older, certainly with me, I've experienced this, time is a commodity that you begin to have a different perspective on. And, and you begin to realize it's the preciousness of it. I, I'm at wondering, what's, why have you come to this point where you're really focusing on time? Well, I've been obsessed with the thought of time for years and years and years and years, which is even a thought of time. Um, but when I set out for this journey for, you know, bringing a dream into reality, something that wasn't here, that was just living in my imagination in the ether somewhere, I wanted it to happen like that, like everybody does. If you say, oh, I want to have a nice brunch today, you want it now, you don't want it later. And so setting out on the dream path was something that I look back now, 15 years later, and I'm like, whoa, what a journey through time. And all of life is that way. And dreamers must know that the whole process of bringing a dream into reality on planet Earth is something that takes time here. You know, it takes time. It's a process every single step. You know, it's not really supposed to happen all of a sudden, everything. And I think about that in a worldly sense, too. Like, we could have plans and wishes for the world to have it be in, in more peace and more harmony. Well, that takes time. But the thing about it is now is the most important time. Now, what we're doing now. So it was me sitting with my guitar for 10 minutes a day after cleaning a few houses and like running to the herb shop to work and making some food for a bunch of wealthy families that I loved who I took care of. And um, it was me taking five seconds out of my day to write down some lyrics that I was receiving or, you know, all of those little moments, the 10 minutes, the five seconds, those adding up to 15 years in my career, you know, and now I get up and making music is all I do. And I wonder what that's going to look like when I turn 80. <laughs> it's pretty exciting to think about the whole journey, you know. And Paulo Coelho is one of my favorite writers. He says, as you move towards your dream, your dream is moving towards you. So the idea that the dream, too, is a living thing, that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's the assumption also that you know exactly what you want your dream to be. But as you're living your life, that dream it can shift and change and be something very different than what you originally expected. Exactly. I always say don't be attached to the form because... I could use love as an example. Oh, I had this idea that my lover was going to look exactly like Fabio and he was going to do all of these things. <laughs> but then at the end of the day, he doesn't really look like Fabio. He more looks like a Lord of the Rings wizard. <laughs> but it's still love, you know. So the course of all of that, it changed form. You have to be open to where your dream may lead. You know, the other thing in this uh, record that I want to address uh, where it re um, ties in with, with time is you allow your songs to kind of breathe. There are moments where there's sort of silence, and that's trusting your audience to stick with you. You don't just rush to the next note. There's Even with Astral Plane that we just heard, you take your time in these songs. Yeah, that's the fascinating thing about music to me is that it's like the capturing of time, you know. The drummer is keeping the rhythm. The guitarist is keeping the rhythm. We're like holding time in our hands when we play music. And um, and I just love that. I love having this instrument close to me and feeling each moment pass with the warmth of the instrument next to me and just waiting for the next note, you know. It's all really iridescent. It's all very magical, the whole experience of playing and moving from song to song and having the songs be so many different things, you know. They're not, each song is its own individual theme, its own individual style, message, genre, whatever it might be, because I just hear the songs. I hear them, and I sing them to you the way that I hear them being sung to me. So I don't have any control over making them all sound like a blues song or a country song or a rock and roll song. They are what they are. I just have to get them and be open. And so um, over the course of all of that, it just becomes like this spiritual experience for me, the songs do. So I let them, them tell me when 
to go to the next note. <laughs> you know, you're making it really tough for marketing directors. You do realize this. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Me and the label, we work it out. We work it out. I love them, Concord Records. I get on the phone, what? We're going to do what? And then they're like, yeah, we're going to do it. And we're, we come together and we decide what we're going to do because there's so many paths we can go that we're just constantly like, it's very vibrant and it's always conscious and it's always changing versus it always having one path. Like, plug it here, put it there. And, you know, so we just have to create this path as we go, which is all a whole nother side of the dream. <laughs> Well, I, somebody asked me the other day, well, what kind of music does Valerie June do? And I wasn't really sure because it, it was not easy to condense what you do into a single word or two or genre. Yeah. Uh, last night I woke up at about five because as the record was being made over the course of the last year, I was like, well, I don't know if I should call this organic moonshine roots music because this is a little bit like... The Root is where I started, but from there, like all other artists that I admire and respect, you grow into a jungle and you can do so many things from The Root. Um, so I feel like I got a great foundation in Roots, but I feel like this music just reaches into other planes. And um, so last night it occurred to me that maybe I should call it, if I'm going to call it anything, cosmic ethereal heart music because it's for the heart. <laughs> But I really don't want to give it a name at all. It's just a bunch of Valerie June songs because the songs come to me, so I have to write them or I'm not doing my job. Well, if you just tuned in, Valerie June does have a new album coming out on her sister's birthday, and if you don't know that, it's March the 10th. Uh, <laughs> the Order of Time is her new album and would love for you to do another song for us.